this just arrived. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer and I am going to try a robot vacuum for the first time today and I'm so excited. Can you tell it's the little things? I'm getting old, right? I mean, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so there have been a few things that I have wanted for my home and one of them is a robot vacuum because I have such a huge square footage in this house and I have four children, including a toddler and a baby and the floor is crazy. I sweep this floor not only every day, but several times a day and I am just constantly doing the floor. It is so much work for me. So I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if I could outsource this to a robot, right? How amazing. So I know a lot of people have a robot vacuum and I just didn't know which one to get. The people from Robo Rock reached out to me and they asked if I wanted to try their robot vacuum and I said, yes a thousand times yes i do want to try your robot vacuum um so they sent it and i have not opened it up yet i'm going to show you everything in this video hopefully it'll answer a lot of questions you may have about robot vacuums so let's go all right everybody so i have charged this and i've placed it underneath this table that we have here um, my main concern about the vacuum is that I don't want the kids to ruin it. So I want to have its home and the charger be here. You can see all the dust bunnies that are under here. Um, so anyway, I plan to hide it underneath this table so that they don't play with it because obviously I don't want them breaking it. So it's here and I'm trying to connect it right now to the Wi-Fi. So there's an app that you download and I can leave that information below or they have it you know when you get the vacuum and I don't know if you can see this let me pull this up so I had a few um, hiccups because it doesn't accept 5g so I had to put it on our 2g Wi-Fi and now I'm just downloading the app so once I do that I will show you uh, what's going on okay so I have the house and there is my filming light I'm just trying to get some light here so something you should know is that I have not swept the floor in two days in anticipation of this video, right? This is like <laughs> the easiest video prep I've ever had to do. So you can just see right here. I mean, this is what happens when I don't sweep the floor for two days. It's pretty bad. So the worst part is of course in the kitchen and this is the main area where we just have a lot of food on the floor and it's a wide open space, so I think it'll be pretty easy to clean. Okay, let's go check on the vacuum. It says it's only 45% charged and it's sleeping right now. So you know what, I'm just gonna let it charge and when it's fully charged, probably tomorrow morning, I can go ahead and have it map everything and I think the lighting will be better then anyway. All right, so I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, hello everybody, it's the next morning and today is the day that we are going to try the vacuum. So I have the app up right here. Let's see how I can film this. Let's do this at the same time. So I'm going to say enter robot. Starting to clean. Oh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Whoa. So exciting. Okay, it seems like it's getting its surroundings in order. So this is about as loud as it gets. It's not too loud. Oh. <laughs> I feel like this is my pet. Uh, okay. So I think what it's doing is mapping out the living room, or it's just going to map out the whole downstairs, and then tonight on the app, I can just say where I want it to go. So I wonder what's gonna happen when it hits the chair here. Yeah, it can't get through the chair, so it's going to turn around. This is amazing. Look at this. Okay, so here's our hallway and our bathroom, so let's see what happens here. Oh. 
Oh, it's coming toward me. Hello. It's funny. Okay, what's going to happen when it encounters this? Oh, see, it went the other way. Because I forgot to pick up that toy off the ground. The question is, is it actually picking up dirt? Which I'm assuming that it is. But I left my floor very dirty uh, as I haven't slept it in a few days, so. I think the proof will be in the pudding when we go to the kitchen because that's where the floor is really. This video is so awkward to shoot because I should be shooting it on my phone, but I have the app on my phone, so I can't do that. Anyway, the baby's up now. I'm trying to get this done before the big kids come back because they're going to be all over this thing. So I've charged it. It's about 86% charged, and we are going to have it go around the house again. So let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's 86% charged. You can see it already started mapping out our living room, and I am just going to press this button here. Clean. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, did you hear that? Okay, so here's the proof. This is the dirtiest part of the floor, and the kids are all watching now. So let's see if it picks it up. And it does. Look, everybody, look, it's picking it up, all the dirt here. getting in there. Look at that. Yeah. See, I love that. These are the areas that are really hard to sweep for me. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy with this. So it looks like it didn't, but that's paint that is really annoying that happened when we did our kitchen. So I just want to point out here that this is where all of the dirt's going. So um, this is so cool. Look how much it's picking up. How do I, I don't know if I, I should probably read the instructions. Dustin removed. Oh, it's saying it's talking to us. All right, so yeah. And I guess you just uh, empty this as you go along. Okay, so this is, um, so I have all the kids here. So here is, the dust and it's just only been going for a little short while so this is good okay now I'm gonna empty it and put it back in and let it get back to work all right I'm coming to you from a few weeks later I've been using the Robo Rock almost every other night I guess I would say and I just have so many thoughts on it I just cannot believe the technology it's it's amazing so they sent me a list of talking points that they wanted me to share with you um, about the robot vacuum. So I'm going to read them here. It has selective cleaning, which means it automatically recognizes rooms after mapping them. So you can select the cleaning of a specific room, like the kitchen, bedroom, and the living room. This works really well, by the way. So I'm reading all what they told me, and I'm gonna tell you my experience with it. So it has a Z-shaped planned path, and so it cleans spaces 20% faster because of this. It has sweeping and mopping. So if you wanna use the mopping function, what you do is you fill um, the container with water and then you snap it in and it has removable, reusable cloths. It also has disposable cloths. So I've just been using the reusable ones and it's so good. Like I always think, oh, this isn't that much water. It's going to run out of water. But my uh, vacuum was going for over an hour the other night and I just turned it off because I was going to bed and it was still, wetting the floor. So it's just the right amount of water. Uh, with the mop, you don't want it to go on the carpet. So you do have to kind of block those areas, uh, which is easy for me to do. Oh, the other thing is it's not loud. I mean, you've heard it in the video. So it has a 50% quieter uh, 2000 PA suction and it pulls up every speck. Uh, this is so true. Like every time I use it, I think, oh, I just vacuumed, you know, last night. It's not going to be that much, but I take out the cartridge and there's so much. It has such a strong suction power. It's quiet. So basically, well, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> Love this thing. So basically what I do every night is um, as I'm just cleaning up at the end of the day, the children are usually upstairs. I'm usually listening to an audiobook. 
I just put on the vacuum and I just let it go around. It's like my little assistant it just follows me around everywhere. And um, so it, it picks everything up. And so then at the end of the night, I will dump um, the cartridge or I'll do it the next day if I just let it go. But um, it is not loud. So I do have, you know, the baby sleeping, my son, my children are sleeping when this is happening and it's going all around the downstairs. So it's not like this really loud vacuum. Um, it doesn't bother anybody at all. So it's really quiet. Okay, so the virtual barriers and the no-go zones can be as small as 1.3 feet and as large as 33 feet. Okay, so this is all stuff that you can program in the app. Okay, so it avoids falling and getting trapped and keeping your decor safe because it has a massive sensor. And you'll see this as it goes towards something, uh, it'll sense that it's there and it's not going to push it or try to suck it up, you know? So you don't necessarily have to pick up um, everything off the floor, you know? Um, it has APP and voice control, so it does work with your Alexa if you have it. It has a two and a half hour cleaning time. So what I've been doing is usually just letting it run about an hour, but it can run for about two and a half hours every evening. And so that is what's so amazing about it, that it's so thorough, you know? It's like you seriously have somebody, some person <laughs> vacuuming your floors for two and a half hours at night. It just picks up so much, it really does. Okay, we walked downstairs and the floor was so clean. I know this doesn't look clean, but this is, this is something that needs to be scrubbed. So the mop function was on last night and the vacuum function was on last night. And I am so happy. Seriously, I feel like I have, you know, sorry, my kids are in their pajamas. I feel like I have, you know, a, a person vacuuming my floor for me constantly. It's amazing. <laughs> So anyway, uh, it has easy maintenance. I've had no trouble with the maintenance with the filter. You take the filter out and then you have to um, run it under water, but they have two filters in there. So I just switch it. And when it's dry, I just switch it back. And you don't even have to do that every time. So this one is like the newest technology, kind of the Rolls Royce of robot vacuum. So they are launching it on eBay and I have the links down below and it's $50 off right now and they have free parts. So I'm gonna leave everything below. Again, this video is not sponsored and these are not affiliate links. They just sent me the vacuum to review and this is my honest review. But it is seriously, I mean, it is so good. It's seriously the best technology, the best household help. I love it. I absolutely love it. Wanted to share that review with you. I would love to know, do you have a robot vacuum or do you want a robot vacuum? What are your thoughts about this? I think that this type of technology is just such a game changer for people. I spend so much time doing my floors and I don't have that much time. So I'm certainly not doing my floors for two and a half hours every night, right? Um, so I just feel like it is changing the game for me in that our floors are clean every day. I love waking up to a clean house and the floors are clean too. Oh, I love it. I just want to thank Roborock for sending me this vacuum. And thanks so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. I will see you next time. Bye.